Well, have you ever been so passionate about something that you became it? Amy Elliott researches 3D printing at Oak Ridge National Lab, and now there is a life-size 3D printed statue of her at the Smithsonian. Shannon Smith explains how this came to be. Amy Elliott is a mom, a researcher at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and most recently, a statue. Yeah, usually when you have a statue, you're long gone and it doesn't really matter, but having a statue while you're alive is pretty cool. Amy's one of 120 women in STEM across the country to be featured in the If Then She Can exhibit at the Smithsonian Museum commemorating Women's History Month. They put out an application for women in STEM who do a lot of outreach. And so I've done some work on TV with Science Channel, Discovery Channel. Um, and I, I love to mentor young ladies and I love um, doing outreach activities. And so I fit the bill and they selected me and it's been a great experience. It's been a long process, a few years in the making to turn her into a life-size 3D printed statue. When I was 3D scanned, I was pregnant. And so it was so cool to go see the statue with my baby and get to pose next to it for a picture. It was just a sweet experience pregnant with her older son but Amy says it's been worth the wait to see her passion become her my specialty is 3d printing she has several patents in the field of 3d printing and researches new technologies in that field at ORNL it was so cool to see a 3d printed statue of myself I mean my head couldn't get any bigger don't worry I have the file we will be printing another soon <laughs> Amy hopes her and her statue inspire her two sons as well as any kids looking toward a career like hers a career in stem is just a great decision all the way around. Anything that you can take interest in, toys, nature, there's a STEM field behind it that you can study. While the future of her statue is unclear. I don't know if we'll get to keep the statue. I'm hoping that we will eventually get to go grab them and take them home with me, and I'm totally planning on putting it on my front lawn. Amy's proud to represent Knoxville and Oak Ridge as a woman in STEM. There's not a lot of women in STEM compared to the grand population, but you know, there's still more than 120, so I was so glad to be chosen as one of them. Um, and the experience just keeps getting better and better, and I just can't wait to see what's next. At the National Lab, I'm Shannon Smith. How cool is that? And I hope she puts it in her front yard. If you do, please send us a picture. We'll show it. We'd love to see that. Congratulations. By the way, if you're spending spring break in the D.C. area, you can see Amy's statue on display at the Smithsonian Castle through March 27th.